Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I'm going to be talking about a Noodler's ink that I haven't tried yet. So you may remember a few months back, Noodler's ink went through a bit of a rebranding phase, and some of their inks fell away altogether, and some of them have new labels and new names. I managed to get one of each of those inks except for the Nikita, I do have the new label on that one, before they were rebranded or fell away from being able to be purchased. So some of them have been discontinued. This one should be available, but this was Kiowa Pecan, which is a type of pecan tree. As a matter of fact, I actually think I have one in my yard. So for anyone who might know, you can tell me whether or not this is actually a Kiowa pecan tree. So this is the pecan before it opens up and releases the actual pecan itself. Uh, Kiowa was also a tribe of Indian. And if you look them up, it's actually very fascinating, the history there. And I peeked at the label for this while ago and kind of caught my breath because I just, I didn't realize how stunning it was going to be. It's kind of wild and very beautiful at the same time. We have the really subtle Noodler's ink along the label, the Kiowa Indian heads moving into the Noodler's classic mascot. Made in USA, Kiowa Pecan. So this is the old label. I don't know what the new label looks like. I'm going to go ahead and get a swab ready. And I will be writing with this ink as well. I've been told that this is a very saturated ink. And I don't actually have a brown that I use standard. So I'm hoping I really like this one. Of course, Newler's ink always filled all the way to the top, so you want to be careful. I'm going to start with a swab. I've been told that this actually takes a little bit to dry. And I don't have my normal syringe, and I've never used this one for like a spatter before. I don't know if it'll really do it. And I'm going to set that way off to the side, so hopefully the label will stay intact. Seems like way too much. Okay. Okay, that's a little bit of something. Okay, this is not a very splatterable syringe, but I tried. And I'm gonna go ahead and fill. I'll set that over there. That way I'll be less likely to spill this. And I have my Banu Euphoria vodka on the rocks today because this one was empty. <laughs> and so it was the perfect candidate. I'd rather get it on my fingers and have it run down the label. I want to keep the label because I think it's so beautiful. Sometimes the ink in the lid will run down. Okay. I'm 
So that is going to take forever to dry. I might have to sop some of that up. Let's see. And this pen was just cleaned, so it might be a little watered down at this point. I'm just going to keep running it out and see if it gets any darker. I have to admit, this color is a lot warmer than I had anticipated. I think it's beautiful. It actually matches the table really well. All right, it's getting a little bit darker. It has a little bit of a variation to it. It's quite lovely. I love this pen, by the way. This is a medium nib. Let's see if I can get it. So focus in a little bit. No, nope, it's not having it. Oh well. Anyway, this is a medium nib on the Banu. Oh no, this is a broad. <laughs> I don't even know my own pens anymore. Oh, for Pete's sake. Yes, anyway, this is a broad nib from Banu. My goodness, I love it. It writes so well. I love this pen. Incredibly comfortable, insanely sparkly. All right, let me see if I can sop some of this up real quick. I think this color is beautiful. I really love the insane variation. I mean, if and this is a broad, so I'm getting a lot from it. That is just so striking. Alrighty, so that was Noodler's Ink Kiowa Pecan, now known as Pecan. Thank you so much for watching.